And a good Thursday to you. Here is my breakfast. I'm having some cheesy scrambled eggs. Light on the cheese uh, on some toast. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of ketchup on it. And I've also been busy out here deflating all of these pool floats just in time for summer. Isn't that smart? We're just going to have to blow them all back up in like a month. But I needed some room out here because we've got a guest coming and I wanted to use this space. I really need to start cleaning all of this furniture. It's just covered in dirt and pollen. All of it. So, except for the new stuff, still looks kind of nice. <laughs> Happy Thursday, everybody! It is Thursday that means one thing. It means that it is almost Friday. And after Friday, it means that it's the weekend. So, yeah, good times. I know that you guys really like for us to show you what we're eating for dinner, and tonight we have something special. So, check this out. So, tonight we're having roasted vegetable quesadillas with uh, black beans inside of them, and some black beans and rice, and some homemade guacamole. Holy macaroni, this looks delicious. Look at that cheese, delish. <laughs> Fun fact, that was a completely vegetarian meal. Yeah, not vegan though, because there was cheese, but vegetarian, and it was delicious. One thing I like about eating vegetarian meals, vegetables don't particularly have a lot of like uh, calories, so you have to eat a ton of them, and you always end up being so full, but you're still like under on your calorie count. Except for um, we did have guacamole, which is like ridiculous on the calorie side, but still very delicious. Originally when I came home from work, I was like, I'm going to work on the bathroom tonight and I'm just too tired. So what we decided was that instead of trying to do like a full day at work and then come home and work on the bathroom, we're just gonna take Saturday and I'm gonna like knock it out on Saturday, like get the entire demo done Saturday. Cause that's the hardest part. Like once I get into like framing back up the walls and like doing the drywall and stuff like that. I can do that uh, once I get home from work because that's not as like beating on a wall with a hammer. So we're gonna rest tonight and then to Saturday, like all day doing demo in the bathroom. It's gonna be a sweaty day, but it's gonna be good. Also, I'm a morning person. I don't know about you guys. Leave me a comment down below and let me know like what time of day you're optimal. Jen, she's a nighttime person. Like, she works best at night. I work best in the morning. Like, first thing in the morning, wake up, get up, get at it, get it done, and then you can, like, relax at the end of the day. Whereas, like, Jen, she totally, like, uh, she will, like, stay up till all hours of night, like, working on something, like, doing, like, cleaning the kitchen or, you know, like, getting ready for the next day, editing, stuff like that. Pretty interesting like the difference between us and like how we work best. So here's the next question. Um, we have been putting a lot of stuff out by the curb for the garbage men. Is there like a limit? Should we not? We put a couch out there from like outside and somebody took it last night. So we put another one out there today. They don't have to take it. Like we're not specifically putting it out there for the trash men. We're taking, putting it out there for whoever took the one from last night, but the Trashmen have taken a couch of ours before. So that like leads me to believe that they can take couches. I don't know though, because it's there's kind of a lot of trash out there. It's like three or four trash bags and a couch. Like an outdoor couch though. So it's like a wicker couch. So it's not like a full out couch couch. So it doesn't weigh very much, but like it's big. And I know that their trash truck will crush it no problem. But like, is there a limit? Am I like not supposed to put like X amount of pounds out for the trash guys to pick up? I don't know. We'll see if they don't take it. That's my cue. Like if the trash guys don't take it, then I'll stop putting it out there. But if they take it, then I'm gonna put more out there until they stop taking it, you know? Like I'll, I'll keep like pushing the envelope. Well, I wanted to tell you guys too, I got the email that they're working on the uh, Canon, the Canon G7X, that's our other camera, cleaning it up and all that other good stuff. So it should be back soonish, I guess? I don't know how soon though, but they're working on it and we'll have it back eventually. Sounds awesome. Oh no guys, the trash guys are coming like right now. They're going behind the house. They gotta make it around the block now. Let's, let's see. I'm kind of, kind of nervous, like really nervous to see if they're gonna take everything. They totally took it. They took all of it and they made it look effortless too. I think one guy was on his cell phone the, the whole time. They're just like throwing stuff like, oh, 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 throwing stuff in the trash. And then one guy picked up the entire couch by himself and was like, ah, throw it in there. And then they crushed it up and went away. It was awesome. So, yay. 
But I have more stuff next time, I guess. Can you guys guess who just got a bath? It's Bandit. Oh no, all you see is his tail. So do you guys remember when we bought this hair dryer? So it was doing great, fantastic hair dryer, but now all of a sudden it is not blowing hot air. So I'm gonna take it apart, see if I can figure out why it's not blowing hot air. I think it's just because it's clogged a little bit, but uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's open it up and see what it looks like on the inside. So I'm so confused as to what to do. Like, I got the screws out. There's only two screws in it, and I can get it separated that much. But after that, I can't do anything with it. It won't separate any further. So I tried my hardest. Uh, I couldn't get it open. I don't want to break it. So I like I just vacuumed the heck out of the backpack here in hopes that I got everything out of it. And I think I did, maybe? I don't know. We're gonna go, I'm going to go try it right now. And see if it see if it fixed anything. It's like the worst feeling in the world is knowing that you could probably fix something if you could just get it open. Like I know why I couldn't get it open because they don't want you to be able to open it because it's like disposable electronics. That's like the trend these days is disposable electronics. But I wanted to be able to get inside of it and see what was wrong with it and fix it because more than likely it was something simple like a broken heating element and those can be put back together and then the heat that they produce like welds itself back together and then you don't have to buy a new hairdryer. Luckily for us, hair dryers are pretty darn cheap so we're just gonna order another one off Amazon and probably get one day free shipping because we're Prime members and it'll show up tomorrow. So, eh, we'll do that. Ding, dang, I just ordered a new hair dryer online on Amazon. Didn't realize that your order had to be over a certain amount to get the free one day shipping. So, new hair dryer isn't coming until Saturday. So if I've got crazy hair tomorrow, uh, you know why. Also, just noticed that a light bulb burnt out here on our light. Oh well, but now it, uh, time has elapsed and I have to go to bed. So, I'm off to bed and I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.